Welcome, I'm Mike the Coffee Guru and today I'm going to be taking you through the F50, going through all the little tips and tricks that most people don't know about. So join me now. So just to introduce the F50, the F50 was by far the most popular drill machine in South Africa for a number of years until it was later replaced by the F7 and which was later replaced by the F8. And the F range um, as a whole probably met the most needs of the most types of customers. So I'll kind of take you through what this machine is good at, what it's bad at, and why it has been now replaced by some, some further models. So F50 first in terms of size, pretty good size, a little bit bigger than most domestic machines. So most domestic machines, number one, have a water tank of about one liter. Um, so all the, which is really just too small for an office. Um, this, this guy has a water tank of 1.9 liters. And the other thing which is really a size constraint usually is your grounds container. That's when the machine makes coffee, there's always empty, or sorry, used grounds which falls into a grounds container. And most domestic machines have about four or five packs they can contain. This is closer to about 15. So really right for um, a large home or a small, a small to medium sized office. Other parts about this machine which are, which are good, it is a total one-touch machine when it comes to coffee, but a two-touch machine when it comes to the milk drink. So if I want to make a cup of coffee, I put my cup over here, press one of my buttons, and it makes my coffee, just in one, in one button. It also has double features, so I can do two cups of coffee at one time. Um, so operationally, pretty simple. Now, part of it, the two downsides, which is one, of why, one reason why it's been replaced, is the screen is kind of old school. It's, it's, it's a digital screen. It's not... It's not here's a color, kind of go, go to the manual, figure out what this means. It's a digital screen, but it's not, it's not great. You know, the, the new machines have proper screens that will show pictures of cappuccinos and lattes and espressos. This doesn't have that. So, a bit more basic. Um, the other problem of the machine, or the other con of this machine, which the, the ones slightly above the F7 and F8 haven't quite fixed either, is the two-touch milk sound, the two-touch cappuccino. And that's probably the biggest downside of this machine. So when you make a cappuccino, I'm gonna show you now, um, it's simple if you know how, but if you have never made one before in this machine, very difficult, almost impossible. You don't know what to do. There's a few buttons you have to press, you have to turn a few knobs. Again, super easy if you've done it before, but almost impossible if you've never seen this machine before, if you're a first-time customer or you come to a reception area and you find this machine. So I'm gonna quickly take you through a cappuccino and then we're going to look at it after that. Okay, so now to the cappuccino. So just a quick overview of all the buttons. You have your rinse button on the, on the very left, followed by your espresso and your double espresso, and then your coffee and your double coffee. And all of these four center drinks come out through the center spout. Then you have this last button on the side, which is your steam button. And steam is really there to tell the machine you're now going to go make a, a milk speciality and it actually heats the thermal block of the machine up to the steaming temperature because as it is, the machine stays in the coffee temperature which is about 88 degrees. When we have to steam milk, because this machine only has one thermal block, it now has to heat up. So if I want to make my cappuccino, I'm going to press my button and the machine is going to say, now heating. And it takes about six or seven seconds to get to my steam temperature. Once I'm there, I can make a whole bunch of milk drinks or a whole bunch of froth in a row, but if I'm going straight from coffee where, where this machine was in that state at the moment, to my steam, I need, now need to wait for that heating process to take place. This side of the machine is where my froth's going to come out, which again, for a first time user, it's very hard for me to guess that. But again, I know the machine obviously well, so very simple for me. And I can put my cup, if I have a big cup here next to it, and I'm ready to go. The machine will say ready. And all I need to do now is I turn this knob clockwise. And the machine starts to dispense the milk, heats it up immediately. This is cold milk at the moment. It heats it up and immediately comes into your cup as hot milk. You can see the steam kind of raising. And your froth gets done. I now need to manually just turn it off. That tells the machine I'm ready to go. And I will put my cup in the center and complete my cappuccino by pressing an espresso. Machine here, you, the, the, the noise obviously, grinding the beans. Machine there gets, gets tamped inside the machine and then gets extracted into my cup. And that's really my recipe for a cappuccino. So, just wait for the extraction to, start, to, talk, to take place. Here we are. Looks really good. 
froth really thick and machine or cappuccino done thank you so much for watching if you'd like to learn more or see more videos about coffee and coffee machines please hit the subscribe button below and tune in for more